Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, another educational project for you using the gel press. So this was some footage from a recent project, a few different projects that I made with my oldest son for homeschool, and he was learning about the Anukshuk, the Inuit statues, and so I thought it would be really fun to pull out our gel press and teach him this and let him create let him get messy with the paint and make some cool prints. So if you have one of these, definitely pull it out if my five-year-old, almost six-year-old can do it and learn it so simply, then anybody can create with these and it was so fun. We were able to make a bunch of different prints with this learning and then just explore with different stencils and paint and you definitely do not need a lot of paint. Riley learned that the hard way. I told him not to put too much paint but a little bit of too much paint came out at one point and you only need a bit of paint to get the project done and to explore with your stencils and textures and different things. And he did so good with this. It was so fun to use this tool with the kiddos. So if you have grandchildren or kids and you have a gel press, definitely bring it out for them and guide them through the process. It is so fun and Riley loved it. He would just sit there and be like, ooh, wow, that's so pretty, especially when we got to just these stencils. He was so amazed with the designs and how it created and pulled off the paint to the paper. And you'll definitely be amazed as well as you experiment and you create with the gel press. So is there a tool in your craft room that you bought and you were so excited about and you haven't used it much or maybe you used it a few times but haven't used it in a while? I want to encourage you to pull those crafting supplies out that are like that for you. Pull out your gel press or your stamps that you haven't used in a long time or anything and try it out again. Experiment with those tools that you loved once but haven't had a chance to bring out. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments below if there's a tool that you haven't used in your craft room for a while or some stamping supplies that you need to pull out again and experiment with. So what was really cool about this Nookshuk uh, printing there, we also created that just with paint paper from our printer and we created our own little stencil for that. So that is a great tip too if you want to create some things. You can just print out something from your printer and cut it out and put it on there and you can get lots of different prints. So now we are just experimenting with stencils and I was helping him here along the way and teaching him and just showing him how to spread it out and I just love his little hands in the footage here. It's just so cute. So this is definitely a messy process and but so fun and it's just so great to see what you can make along the way with this. I feel like we could have had a little less paint here but we were just enjoying the process and this was the first time we did it together so it was fun. And some of the stencils didn't really work that great, but that was okay. We were having fun and experimenting and doing art. And it was all fun. And it looked cool. The results looked very fun and cool. And then we tried to grab a lot of the paint up from the sides. Their blue paint on the side was from a little bit too much paint coming out too quickly. And this is super sped up. It was a lot of footage and so I sped it up for you just to give you a little glimpse into our creative time here at our home and to encourage you to not be worried to bring out those tools that maybe intimidate you or you haven't pulled out in a long time that anybody can create and be creative with all of the different things if you try 
and just have fun with it. That to me is the whole point of crafting and being creative. Have fun with it, enjoy the process and go with it. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time. You can make anything into something. And then we were just using these stencils and trying to get some of that paint off these stencils to get some different looks with that in adding different colors in to experiment and some of this didn't come out great just because the stencils are maybe not the best quality but he was just exploring and having fun the slogan in my faith dream create is what can be imagined can be created so that is kind of what this video is all about Go with the creative flow, imagine it and create it, and don't be so hard on yourself with your crafting projects. Enjoy the process. This one turned out really fun, and he was like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> so just seeing how the different elements of the press, what it looks like with the stencil on and what it looks like with the stencil off from the gel plate press, so this video is not a, this is how you do the gel press. This is the method of, of it. It is just a fun video to show you a little bit of a glimpse into my life and show you that you don't need to be intimidated by these fancy crafting tools if you want to try them out. So go ahead, pull out those crafting tools this week that you haven't used in a while and definitely give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more crafting videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.